Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have been posting videos on how to brew Chinese tea, such as step-by-step -step instructions or basics about Gong Fu brewing. So if you are new to Chinese tea or Gong Fu brewing, these videos will get you started quickly. But if you are very familiar with Gong Fu brewing and want to advance your skills, we are doing Intuitive Brewing 2.0. Our goal is to help you bring out the best of your tea, no matter where you are and whether you have a scale or thermometer or not. Without further ado, let's get started. In today's video, we're going to talk about rings. So rings is a step that is often seen in Kung Fu brewing. And when we are doing Gong Fu brewing, we usually brew the tea for multiple infusions. So when you are doing the first one or few infusions, you brew the tea but not drink it. That's what we call rinse. You might wonder, why do we do that? So there are two reasons in general. One is hygiene. Like you want to rinse out all the possible dirt or dust in the tea. And the second one is to get the tea prepared, warmed up, and ready for the real infusions. So if you are concerned about hygiene, the rinsing step becomes very personal. You do it or you not do it, it's totally up to you. But if you look at the rinsing step as a preparation for better tea brewing, this becomes a little bit technical because you will consider what are teas that need rinse and what are teas that actually better don't rinse it. Here are something you might want to take into consideration when brewing different types of teas. For example, uh, white tea, green tea, yellow tea. Usually these three categories, I don't recommend rinsing it because the first rinse will take away the tea fuzz, the trichromes that are precious, that the delicate process is trying to preserve. So those teas, I would actually uh, start the brewing rather than do a rinse, no matter it's Gong Fu brewing or not. Black tea is another type of tea that really doesn't need much rinse. Because of the process, it really starts to give out the flavors and the taste very quickly when you start to brew it. When it comes to oolong or dark tea, I recommend to rinse them because of the shape. They tend to be tightly rolled or pressed, so the first is infusion as a rinse will really help warm up the tea, loose it up. So when you have the official first infusion, you can taste the full flavors. Another type of tea that I recommend to rinse before brewing is aged tea. What aged does is really bring that tasting profile, that um, different flavors inward. So it's not because of the shape that you need to rinse them, but the flavor will release better if you give a quick initial rinse. And that applies to almost all the teas across the six tea categories, including white tea. So if you have an aged white tea, rinse it as well, and your first infusion will be fuller and richer. So now we know what are the teas we might want to rinse, then how do we rinse it? The very typical way of rinsing is do a flash infusion, which means you pour in the water, the water pours out. You don't leave any time for the tea to actually steep because you want to taste the tea, not to throw it out. This step is just to warm up the tea. But sometimes we do multiple rinses or a very long rinse. There are a few reasons for that. For example, when we're going through many teas and we just want to dive right into the core, or the peak time of the brew. So we would actually uh, do two rinses or three rinses. So just basically jump right to the fourth infusion and taste the tea. So it's for efficiency, mostly. And another reason we would do that is when you have an aged tea that wasn't uh, stored properly or some tea that has some uh, undesired flavor due to the outside. So with a little bit uh, more intensive rinse, we're trying to get rid of that undesired flavor and trying to uh, like clean up the tea a little bit. So the question to rinse or not to rinse, there's no simple answer to it. It all depends on what kind of tea it is, what's the shape of the tea, what's the purpose of this brewing session you're doing, 
are you doing a flash tasting or are you trying to enjoy it fully? And of course, it can be quite personal. For example, I don't rinse any expensive tea. If it's really expensive and rare tea, I want to drink every drop of it, including the rinse. So I just start the brewing right away and do the adjustment as I can. Here you go. I hope this video helped answer in some questions you have about rings. And please share with me what's your rings habit and what's your consideration when doing a rings or not. Leave the comment below. And as usual, please subscribe, like, and share the video. See you next time.